Muisca mummification. This article describes the practice of mummification by the Muisca. The Muisca inhabited the Altiplano Cundiboyacense in the Colombian Andes before the arrival of the Spanish and were an advanced civilization. They mummified the higher social class members of their society, mainly the Zipas, Sacs, Caciques, priests, and their families. The mummies would be placed in caves or in dedicated houses mausoleums and were not buried. Many mummies from the Chipcha-speaking indigenous groups have been found to date, mainly from the Muisca, Lash, and Guan. In 1602, the early Spanish colonizers found 150 mummies in a cave near Susca that were organized in a scenic circular shape with the mummy of the cacique in the center of the scene. The mummies were surrounded by cloths and pots. In 2007, the mummy of a baby was discovered in a cave near Gameza, Boyaca, together with a small bowl, a pacifier, and cotton cloths. The process of mummification continued into the colonial period. The youngest mummies have been dated to second half of the 18th century. The early Spanish chroniclers Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada, Pedro Simon, Pedro de Aguado, Gonzalo Fernandez de Ovido, Y. Valdez, and others have provided the first historical data on the Muisca mummies. Modern researchers who contributed to the knowledge of the Muisca mummies have been 19th century scholars as Aquil Uricochia and Liborio Zerda. In the 20th and 21st century, Elisa Silva Celis and Abel Fernando Martinez Martin have been analyzing various Muisca mummies. Background In the centuries before the Spanish conquest of the Muisca in 1537, the Altiplano Cundiboyacense, high plateau of the eastern ranges of the Colombian Andes, was inhabited by the Muisca people. They were an advanced civilization of mainly farmers and traders. The Muisca did not construct stone architecture, as the Maya, Aztec, and Inca did. Their houses, temples, and shrines were built with wood and clay. They were called salt people because of their extraction of halite from various salt mines on the Altiplano, predominantly in Zipaquira, Nemakin, and Tossa. Description Mummification was a common practice in South American cultures. The Nazca, Paracos, and Chachapoya of Peru conducted mummifications. The oldest evidence of mummification in the Americas is known from the Chincharo culture in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile and has been dated at 7,000 years BP. The practice was also performed by various pre-Columbian cultures in Colombia. Of the cultures to the southwest of the Altiplano, the Calama, Hijau, and Quimbaya practiced mummification. On and close to the Altiplano, the Muisca, Guan, and Lash mummified their dead, and north of the Altiplano, the Chitero and Zenu also executed the mummification process. The indigenous groups inhabiting the jungles of the Darien mummified their caciques. The Muisca started their mummification practices in the late Herrera period, approximately from the 5th century AD onwards. The use of substances to bomb the body and the extraction of the organs has been described by Franciscan Esteban de Asensio in 1550. The process took eight hours to dry the body with a dusty bomb after the intestines were extracted. While the exact composition of the bomb has not been determined, the moak was probably a type of resin used in other rituals and practices around the mummification. Another method of preparation of the mummies was more frequent. The body would be dried using fire and smoke and no extraction of organs would be performed. Heat of the fire not only dried the body, also the phenol liberated by the smoke would conserve the body and prevent it from decomposing. This process that also the Guan performed to prepare their mummies has been described by Pedro Simon. The dried bodies were wrapped in various layers of cotton cloths, mostly painted. Emeralds were put in the mouths and to cover the eyes and belly button of the deceased and sometimes even cloths were inserted in their rectum. The ears and nose were covered with cotton cloths as well. 
During the mummification rituals, the Muisca sang songs and drank chicha for various days in a row. As the Muisca believed in an afterlife, the mummies were buried surrounded by pots with food as beans, maize and chicha, mantles and golden figures for their stay in another world, similar to ours. The mummies of the higher classes were decorated with golden earrings or nose rings, and with golden feathered crowns and emeralds. The discovery of a cave in Gameza, Boyaca in 2007, proved also children were mummified. A mummified baby of a couple of months old was wrapped in cotton cloths and accompanied by a tither, a small bowl. In the temples and places reserved for the mummies, the bodies were put on a platform of reed, as an elevated bed, called barbacoas. Other mummies were placed on small wooden stools. The mummies were left there without being buried. All the mummies found were in a similar sitting position with the arms and legs folded towards the torso. As Aquil Uricochia described in 1854, that the fingers of the mummified persons were strapped together with cotton cords. Some of the mummies, probably those of the warriors, were found with golden arms in their hands. The fighters were richly decorated with emeralds, crowns, and fine cloths and bags of cotton. According to Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada, who made the first contact with the Muisca, when his soldiers Miguel Sanchez and Juan Rodriguez para raided the Sun Temple in Sagamoso in September 1537, they found mummies decorated with golden crowns and other objects sitting on raised platforms. Social Classes Although the Muisca society was generally egalitarian, differences in the burial processes indicate the distinction of the social classes. The higher class people and their families were mummified while lower classes were not. The Zipa and Zac mummy sites, often in temples and caves, were decorated with golden stools and guarded by the priests. The caciques were put together with their slaves and wives, and the priests' sects were placed in secret sites. Often the mummies of the caciques were kept in their own houses, and the religious people consulted their ancestors in their prayers to them. In some cases, special bohios were constructed to house the mummies of the highest classes, as mausoleums. Mummy S. Oten Roman 9 The mummy from Satavanort, named S. Oten Roman 9, and belonging to the collection of Silva Cellis in the Archaeology Museum of Sagamoso, has been studied in detail by various researchers. The mummy has been donated to the archaeologist by Abraham Lopez Avila in 1962. Interviews with Lopez Avila revealed that the mummy had been found by children in the vicinity of Satavanort, Satavasar, and Sakota on the western bank of the Chickamacha River. The mummy has been carbon dated by researchers at the University of Uppsala 615 plus slash 35 years before 1950. The first analysis of the mummy S. Oten Roman 9 been performed in 2004 by a group of researcher of the Uptian Tanya. The mummy was unwrapped in flexion, simulating the fetal position, missing the upper left limb with partial loss of the right lower limb, conserving the leg and foot loss of skin and soft tissue to the bone at the pelvis and the abdominal region have been noted. The upper limbs were flexed, the hands interlaced and tied with a cotton cord. They were placed on the right side of the head. Three fragments of cotton blankets accompanied the mummy. The body showed evidence of perforations caused by cadaveric fauna. Remains of Coleoptera antignatha and Philophaga were identified, and remains of the left lung have been described in the thoracic cavity. The cranium was undeformed and showed remains of straight black hair with signs it had been cut. Cotton was found inside the ear and nostrils. One of the vertebrates showed an abscess. The mummy has been identified as probably a male of an established age of 30 plus slash 5 years old. The length of the individual has been estimated at 166 centimeters 5, 45 ft. 
The teeth of S. Oten Roman 9 did not have cavities and in the mouth remains of algae and diatoms have been discovered. Analysis of the mummy provided that it probably had been a shaman, based on the perforated ears, and that he suffered from illnesses in his limbs, cared for by the Muisca community. Other Colombian Andean mummies. Muisca mummies have been discovered in Gachantiva, Iguac, Villa de Leva, Monaquira, Sakota, Sagamoso, Tanya, Ubait, Pispa, Usmi, and Suska, and mummies wrapped in cloths in Bovita, Tasco, Tupaga, Gamza, and Gachansipa. The mummies of Usmi, discovered in 2007, revealed an extensive burial site of 30 hectares, 74 acres. Oval and circular graves have been found, together with urns and some of the findings, showed evidence of sacrifices. The 135 human remains have been dated to the 8th or 9th century, till the 16th century AD. Evidence for alive burials were numerous, and it is estimated it would take 20 years to fully analyze the site. Mummies by surrounding groups were found in Kiskas, Sierra Nevada del Cacai Lash, Muso Muso People, Bucaramanga, La Beleza and Lost Santos Guan, Silos Chitero, and Arcana Mosquito Culture. Until 2012, 70 mummies have been analyzed in Colombia, of which 54 of the Chipcha speaking people. The remaining 16 mummies have been found in the Serenia del Perigia and belonged to the Yuko culture. The majority of mummies discovered after the conquest were found in caves and represented scenes. They were organized in circles. In the Muisca history caves, together with lakes, waterfalls, and rivers, have been important. In 1602, 150 mummies were discovered in a cave in Susca and were organized in a circle around the mummy of the cacique. The scene was completed with many small cotton cloths. The circular organization around the cacique resembled the organization of the Muisca villages, where the central bohio belonged to the ruler of the settlement. In 1885, Muisca scholar Liborio Zerda described a mummy of a young girl, found in a cave on the Tequila Paramo, at 4,000 meters, 13,000 ft altitude within the municipality of Aquitania. The mummy was wrapped in cotton mantles and decorated with golden objects. The body was eternalized in a squatting position. Some of the Muisca mummies found were so well conserved that their facial expression didn't look like the people died hundreds of years ago. The Zenu and Panch oriented their mummies with the head to the east, while the Muso buried their dead with the head to the west. The Muisca commonly directed the heads of the deceased to the east, although other graves have been found oriented to the south. Museum Collections Muisca mummies are on display or in the collections of museums in Colombia. The Museo del Oro mummy from Pispa, Boyaca, the Museo Arqueológico Casa del Marx de San Jorge and the Museo Nacional in Bogota have Muisca mummies on display and the mummies from Satavasar and Gamesa are kept in the Archaeology Museum in Sagamoso. The mummy found in Gachantiva is part of the collection of the British Museum in London.